I've got two females in here that are carrying. Now for the past, I don't know, over, over the summer, it's been several months, I haven't done anything with them. I haven't taken any out. I've just let them spit, but my survival has been 0%. I've got small ones in there, but they were the ones that I had spit out, had them spit out in other tanks and then they grew, um, like that small one over there. But every time I see them holding, I just left them alone because I'm too lazy to do what I'm about to do. And that is remove the rock work so I can scoop them out. Um, just want to do a quick video to show you guys the process of this and how much of a pain in the butt it is. So I guess let's get started. First thing I use is like this uh, lid for a bin. This is so I can put the rocks on here so it doesn't get wet everywhere. So I'm gonna put this down and let's, I guess, let's go ahead and remove the lid and the light. Actually, let's see. The lid comes off. Side. Now, once I start removing the rocks, water is going to drop, obviously, because of water displacement. Sometimes I'll get lucky. So, what this net is doing in here is I left it over all day yesterday to get them used to it and have them swim by so I can try to catch them. I, I managed to catch, catch one of the ones that I were holding, but as I was going to scoop it out, it escaped. So led me to do what I'm about to do right now, which is just remove everything. But I really like how the rock escaped, so it kind of, it's disappointing, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, gotta get these babies to survive. I don't remember how I did this. that are holding, rather do it on this side. So, I just got to scare them to go to the other side.
check it is good. I'm gonna go put her in a separate tank. Yeah. All right, so double check and that is, is one of them. Now the other one is, gotcha. Now you tell if they're holding or not is they'll have a dropped chin. about cleaning the butt this is to do. Check out the other ones. Make sure none of them look like they're holding. So far, so good. Okay. The reason I can't tell too well is because she's probably a newer mom. She hasn't been holding too long, but yeah, she is. All right, now that's all done, time to put the rocks back. That's all the rocks. Obviously, it looks a little different. And I'm not mad about it. 
but that's really it guys um i don't know how long that took probably like 10 15 minutes i've got two in a separate tank where i just have three endlers um obviously it's the endlers aren't going to be able to eat the fry when they come out of the mouth but i'm gonna put in some more there's not really much there so let me show you real quick it's in this tank um it's obviously not really much there so i'm gonna put in a couple hiding stuff but there's the endlers um, yeah they're already chasing each other so i'll just have to add some uh some decorations um some rocks some woods and i mean ideally i'll probably separate those two moms I'm trying to figure out i do have a spare tank here a 10 gallon which is probably perfect um which i'll probably do but let me see if i can find some stuff for it but i just wanted to make a quick video hopefully that helps some of you guys out if you guys are interested in breeding cichlids um it's tough to leave them in your display and uh try to catch catch them especially if you have a lot of rocks and stuff um but i guess that's all a part of it so hopefully you guys learned something in this video catch you guys in the next one